dear learner welcome in my lecture of web technology today i will discuss about advantage of gsp gsp engine gsp architecture i am dr astosh bhat associate professor school of computer science and it uttarakhand open university haldwani so first of all before listening this lecture the learning objective of the lecture is to understand entire java architecture gsp tag gsp program preparation and execution in previous lecture we have discussed about gsp its advantage and program compilation process now now first of all gsp page little bit about the gsp gsp page is a page created by web developer gsp means java server pages so uh, the page is created by the web developer that include gsp technology custom tag combination of other static html and xml tags so gsp is a embedded programming and we can include with gsp the html and xml tags and custom tags we can call it custom tag also so the web developer includes gsp technology custom tags and gsp pages has an extension dot gsp and gspx so this is the extension of gsp file and gsp is a embedded programming where we can include uh, html and xml tags with gsp codes so uh, with gsp code or gsp tags so what are these tags we will discuss later in this lecture so first of all you can see this uh, entire j2e architecture so uh, gsp is very important and it, it's playing very important role in entire j2e architecture so uh, in entire day, j j2e architecture we have first tier that is client side presentation second is server side presentation presentation third is also server business logic fourth is the enterprise information system so the first one is the client side presentation where we can use pure html we can use java applet we can use uh, java application we can use j2e client application like we can use java script we can use java Uh, in place of javascript we can use vb script we can use c sharp script different scripting language can be used with the html so this is in client side presentation so for developing a client page we need to know cookies we need to know javascript we need to know html so these different different uh, tools we require for this client side programming or client side presentation while for the server side presentation we require gsp gsp is a very important tool for the uh, server side development server side presentation java server page uh, we require java servlet uh, and uh, suppose we are working on microsoft package then we need active server pages asp php also require so pre processor php text processor and uh, this can also be for uh, required for the uh, entire technology development of entire technology and uh, this is for client server network this second is the web tier third one is the ejb tier and fourth is the enterprise information system in between we uh, we we uh, we can include many many layers also so entire means uh, not only 2 3 4 tiers Uh, it means it uh, it it is a combination of it is sequence of three four six seven eight ten uh, different different hidden layers in between database and the client side presentation and the last one is the enterprise information system where we have database and this database uh, uh, the uh, will be available as per the request of the client suppose client demands any data. so this uh, enterprise information system uh, will avail that data will uh, make available that data to the client but this data uh, will be transferred to the server and uh, in between server and this database we have a one layer that is ejb layer so this enterprise java means will transfer that server data that database data of database uh, safely to the server server side presentation and this server side presentation will send is it as a response to the client 
so this is the whole structure whole life cycle of this uh, entire uh, architecture so jsp here jsp is used for the server side presentation so that's why this jsp is very important now uh, see how uh, the jsp programming uh, will be performed so it requires these different different jsp tags so these uh, tags directives are uh, as following in this uh, slide you can see Uh, suppose we have to import any class uh, uh, i can understand that the listener the learner of this uh, this uh, lecture uh, will understand the java programming uh, and uh, already you know the java programming so uh, because jsp is the advanced java it is a part of advanced java so the you must have to know the java programming so in java we require the import statement so that import statement can be written in jsp like that uh, less than sign then percentage at the rate so percentage at the rate sign is for the page import so here we are importing the page java.util.star it will be closed by double quotes and uh, percentage sign and less uh, greater than sign so suppose we have to uh, import java dot math so we will write here page import java dot math dot star so accordingly java dot language dot star accordingly any any uh, class or package we can import by this statement so you have to remember this percentage at the rate sign and declares declaration the second one is the declaration suppose Uh, after importing the, the the import statement always be the first statement of any program and after that we will start the program and then first of all we will declare the variable so percentage exclamation sign is used to declare the variable integer age and we have initialize also age variable is defined here it is age variable is integer type and we have initially provided 56 value to age variable and 0 to i variable i is a integer a and b are also integer but we are not assigning them any value c is a double type va value c is a double very uh, double and now finally you can see in the last line circle a equals to new circle it means circle is a class and a is the object of that class equals to new circle new uh, operator by using the new operator we will define the object of class so a is the object of circle class and we are passing 2.0 as a argument to this class so uh, variable can be declared and class can be declared by the exclamation sign percentage exclamation percentage at the rate for the uh, importing percentage exclamation for the for for this uh, variable declaration as well as class declaration as well as structure declaration so these are two category of two category of tag and third category this is called scriptlet so this is the declaration these two declaration and this third one is the scriptlet code so here we will write the java statement so percentage if password equals to xyz so this is the if statement here we have mentioned this if statement under this percentage if password password uh, dot equals so password uh, some value will be stored previously on password variable and equals function we are using so the previously stored value of password is equals to xyz then it will display the welcome message so here uh, this welcome is a part of this html so h1 welcome written here so h1 means heading 1 inside heading 1 we have mentioned welcome and it is closed and then this curly bracket is also closed so if password dot equals a under double quotes xyz and bracket close and then curly bracket start so this is the jsp code and this uh, curly bracket will end also so again we will write less than percentage and greater than uh, percentage greater than in between we will fix this uh, this this uh, jsp code so this simple percentage is for the other statement for the scriptlet for the processing statement 
and last is the output statement so percentage equal sign is used to display the output uh, so here age variable will be displayed the value of age variable will be displayed new uh, java dot util dot date so here uh, we directly we are directly using this date function and this date function is a part of util package and uh, util package is a part of java uh, package so this date function will execute and accordingly will display the date uh, current date so uh, this is here um, written and suppose we have to mention some comment so we uh, require delima delimited by percentage and double dash and in between we will write anything and then it will be closed double dash percentage and greater than sign so uh, five categories are here percentage at the rate for page import import for especially for import statement percentage exclamation for variable declaration data type for defining data type and percentage equal sign you can see here this is for output percentage age means the value of age will be printed and comment for comment percentage double dash and for scriptlet and rest of the statement are kept under this percentage sign so here you have to understand or you have to remember percentage at the rate percentage at the rate for page import percentage exclamation for data type declaration variable declaration percentage equal sign for printing any value and rest all statement are kept under simple percentage so all rest are the processing statement they will be kept inside the percentage sign less than percentage and inside it we will write uh, the code and then it will be closed by the percentage greater than sign then again we have this html code so that's why we have closed this uh, jsp part and we have started this html part and again this curly bracket is again also the part of this uh, if statement because if will start by the curly bracket and it will be closed by the curly bracket so we will close this curly bracket under jsp tag so we will mention it under jsp tag so this is the complete tags which are used in uh, jsp now a single program i am explaining you the single program where uh, we are finding the simple interest and this program how we will write this program in jsp the same program many time you have done we have completed ex executed in c language c plus plus or java but here in jsp when we will write such program we have to start the program by the html then body inside body we will write uh, we will not write inside head uh, basically we will write it inside the body and first of all we don't have any uh, any import statement we don't require any import statement like this percentage at the rate so uh, so we will skip that one so directly we will write percentage exclamation sign so here you can see percentage exclamation declaration variable for declaring the variable so uh, here we have mentioned here percentage exclamation float prt comma si then semicolon so this is the programming statement this is the jsp statement we have defined here prt and si three variable principal amount rate of interest time and simple interest so these four variable defined as a float but we will start by the percentage exclamation and closed by the percentage then we will write the rest of statement so p we have initialized by 1000 r is 10 time is 10 and then we have mentioned here we have written here the formula si equals to p into r into t divided by 100 so it will find out it will calculate si simple interest by this line and then the simple interest string will be displayed on the board so we have mentioned here we have written here to b tag b and slash b slash b also be there uh, uh, and then we will write here uh, b is slash b is missing slash sign is missing here 
and then we will print as we have calculated uh, this red part is the part of gsp and the rest of blue part is a part of html part so i have differentiated by the two color red color it denotes here gsp program and blue color denotes here the html program so finally we have displayed the percentage equal si so as we have calculated si simple interest in the body part and this uh, simple interest will be displayed here si will be display si will simple interest will display and then body will close and html will close so this is a very simple program of the gsp you can execute this program so uh, how you will execute you can see here uh, you can see here this is the main window main window where how we will execute it so this web application you can see here and when we will move here this web application and this is net netbean this is the window of netbean and when we will move to this window then you can see uh, in the window we will select the jsp here uh, the list is given uh, html jsp servlet so you have to click on jsp as you will click on the jsp you open the netbeans and then click on this program execution you will move to this program execution and move to this jsp and then it will show uh, the project name you will mention here the project name by default it will display the project web app 01 but you can change it and other values also be given by you here and uh, as per the requirement and then you will see this type of window where already a code is given so uh, the form action so this uh, area inside body you can delete this portion and in place of this portion directly you can write this program this program can be written here inside this body portion and you can delete all statement inside the body portion you just write this code here and then you have to press on next button for the execution uh, this this one and save as you can save it in particular directory accordingly so this is the program execution method uh, as you will click on you will run on this program so it will display the output and uh, these are some snapshot also so the learning outcome after listening this lecture the learning outcome of this lecture learners will understand entire java architecture different jsp tag jsp program preparation and execution process will also understand uh, and in next session in next lecture we will discuss about life cycle of jsp page directory structure of jsp and anatomy of the jsp page so thank you learner thank you very much